you really don't realize how lame these kind of videos are until you have to explain it to someone else. Oh, you make YouTube videos? What do you post on YouTube? Well, my channel is mostly about hair, I do like checks, haul videos, hair tutorials. You said haul videos? What are those? It's pretty much me buying products and showing what I bought. Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today it's a haul video. My first haul of 2018. Yes guys, it's already 2018, no more 2017, no five. I don't got to try, but wait, did that rhyme? So I'm gonna go through these products in order of wash day. Let's start with cleansers and the only type of cleansers that I bought in this entire haul are co-washes. And I purchased the Pantene Gold Series Deep Hydrating Co-Wash and the Shea Moisture Hyper Estate Moisture Seal Co-Wash. So the entire theme for all these products that I've purchased is I've never tried any of them before. Okay, these are first time buys and uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting because I have new products to try for first impressions. The deep conditioner from this Hyperosity line from Shea Moisture is actually one of my favorite deep conditioners. So when I saw that they have a co-wash, I was like, yeah, I really want to try it. And uh, I've always loved the Pantene co-wash. It was in a brown bottle. So yeah, I decided to pick this up, hoping it was comparable. So we're going to go on to deep conditioners and we have quite a few deep conditioners. I may have gone a little overboard with the deep conditioners but this is the Neutrogena Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask and uh, I was going through the ingredients trying to figure out whether it's protein or a moisture deep conditioner and uh, yeah it's a moisture deep conditioner it has no protein in there however it does have a paraben so yeah I'm gonna use this six ounce product Hopefully I enjoy it, but it's not very likely that I'm going to repurchase it just because it has a paraben in there. So yeah, I've always heard about this deep conditioner though, so I was really curious about it, all right? Next deep conditioner is the Afro-G Curlific Texture Treatment. This is another deep conditioner that I've heard so many great things about it before. Um, it has a really the seed over it yeah it's a really nice smell not very overpowering I'm really excited to try this one I heard it's a really good um, like protein deep conditioner and it's also good for elasticity so yeah I keep seeing it on people's favorite list especially the end of year favorite list so I was like I am trying this for 2018 okay <laughs> okay um, next deep conditioner is the Mega Growth Anti Breakage Strengthening Deep Conditioner. I bought this at a local wholesale and uh, it smells good and it's a very creamy product. Thick but creamy. This is another product that I've seen on a lot of people's favorites list and this one has no paraben, no sulfate, no alcohol but it does have lanolin and uh, petrolatum so yeah I mean I ain't really picky with those ingredients so much but I am hoping that it works well so I have nothing more to say about it I've never tried the products before but I look forward to all right the next deep conditioner I have are more newer products that I was curious about and uh, this is the Carol's Daughter Russell Clay Softening Hair Mask. Y'all know I love clay washes, okay, bentonite clay, Russell clay and uh, when I saw that this has Russell clay in it, from the first time I heard about it and was see reviews pop up like early last year about this product, I was curious about it. But you know, your girl was on a no buy. So yeah, after seeing it still showing up all over YouTube and people still giving it really good review, I was like, yep, I'm gonna purchase it and I have. The next product is from Miel Organics. So this is the hydrating conditioner from the Mongongo Oil Collection. I was a little hesitant to purchase this Mongongo hydrating conditioner because uh, if you watch 
watched my worst products of 2017 video, then you would have seen that I have put in the Male Organics Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner in that video because it was less than impressive, okay? It was disappointing. So I'm hoping that this one is a little more impressive. This one is a fully moisture deep conditioner. It has no protein in there. So yeah, it even said at the front, protein free. Let's hope I enjoy this one, all right? The next meal organic product that I ordered is a leave-in conditioner. So yes, we're moving on to leave-in conditioners right now. And I have the meal organics, pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. So this pomegranate and honey line from Meal Organics was mostly just styling products. So they have a leave-in conditioner, a souffle, um, a curling cream, a moisturizer, and I think those are all the products that came out with this pomegranate and honey line. Yeah, because I was meant to buy the entire packaging, I was gonna buy the entire line. Yes, for the packaging. But, you know, when the product got a little older, people were coming out with more and more reviews, you get what I mean? Yeah. And if I ignored what the people were saying and all the great things they were saying, when I looked at their hair and how the results of their actual twist out came out or their braid out or whatever style they were doing, their hair kind of looked a little dull and frizzy. So yeah, I was less than impressed by how those products seemed to work. So. Since I really wanted to still buy something from the line, I decided to buy the leave-in conditioner. So I'm hoping it works. The next leave-in conditioner on my list is the Alicay Naturals Lemongrass Leave-in Conditioner. This product has been so highly recommended to me that it is not even funny. I don't remember exactly which product I was using in a wash and style and it was in a it was a leave-in conditioner in a spray bottle and I was complaining about it and I said I didn't really like it oh yes it was the male organics white peony leave-in conditioner in the spray bottle yeah I, I was really annoyed with that whole spray leave-in conditioner and it felt as if it never really was doing anything to my hair and a lot of the comments were telling me to try the Alike Naturals lemongrass leave-in conditioner and also, for most people's favorite list for the end of 2017, they were hyping up this product. And uh, yeah, I've, I've yet to see one person give this leave-in conditioner a bad review. My expectations are high for this product, alright? And you know how I stay. I'm really picky when it comes to my products and I don't have pity favorites, alright? It's either I like the product or I don't like the product. So. Let's see how his leave-in conditioner is going to work. It was highly recommended to me. So, yeah. I hope it's good, alright? And the next leave-in conditioner, spray leave-in conditioner, I decided to try because I've seen a lot of great reviews about it, is the main choice tropical moringa. Moringue. Moringue just sounds right. Or is that Jamaican thing? I'm pretty sure I've heard Jamaican say moringue. Moringa. Yo, I see a A there. The main choice, Tropical Moringa Daily Restorative Spray. And this is a, another spray leave-in. I bought this specifically for a refresher kind of spray. I do follow the main choice on Instagram and they always recommend using this product along with their daily um, cream, daily moisturizing cream, but I have no interest in buying a moisturizing cream or a moisturizer because I have I have enough moisturizers okay I wanted a refresher spray so yeah I decided to buy this by itself I didn't want to buy the duo so I'm hoping that this works well as a refresher spray the next product I have from the main choice is from the ancient Egyptian line the anti-breakage and repair antidote oil cuticle control leave-in lotion and isn't it a pretty gold and purple package like <laughs> come on these companies are really stepping it up with these um packaging gold and bright pink and gold and purple <sighs> i'm so i'm so basic so basic <laughs> actually i've been eyeing the ancient egyptian line for a long time i already have the deep conditioner let me just reach for it 
<laughs> yeah, I already have the deep conditioner from the Asian Egyptian line, which I have yet to use before. This is a <coughs> damn. <laughs> this is a brand new container, and it smells phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm excited to try this this year and I have the living conditioner to also go with it so let me put this back this is not a part of this haul okay I bought this like really really early in 2017 I got the living conditioner to also pair with the line and also I got the main choice Asian Egyptian anti breakage and repair antidote 24 karat glistening gold twisting gel um when i did my wash and style with the main choice gone wrong and i use their 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 gel the purple gel let me where is it uh, okay <laughs> here is it the crystal orchid gel um and it flaked on me a lot of the comments were telling me that the 24 karat twisting gel was the better of the two but when I finish using this, I will most likely have it in an empties video or an anti-empties video and give you guys my final review on this product. But we're not talking about this today, okay? This is an old product. Old news, alright? This is one of the products that when I watch reviews about it and I do not just listen to what the people are saying, okay? I look at how their hair looks and turns out. Their result for their twist out looks nice. Their result for their wash and go looks shiny and defined. So that is what drew me to purchase this product. All right? Yeah. I'm really looking forward to trying this glistening gel. And it's sparkly too. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, snap. A full wash and style coming up. Not anytime soon though. I, I have a lot more products to go through. All right? And that's it. Oh, that is not it. One more thing that I am very, very disappointed about. Um, yeah, I made an order from Amazon and I ordered curl formers and I'll be so happy and elated and telling you guys how excited I am to try curl formers in my hair. But they sent me the wrong size. This is the size they sent me in this big packet right here and this is a size long this is for hair that is 10 and a half inches i think that was the description say 10 and a half inches my hair right now is about 10 inches so i am just right at the border of long size long but this is not what i ordered i paid 70 dollars for the extra long spiral and what i got was long spiral i don't i don't know what this this and the sun parties i probably wouldn't have readily recognized that it was the wrong product but i had also ordered a top-up pack that is also found on amazon and i ordered the top-up pack for the extra long spiral to go along with this pack and when i got this this is the correct length that i was supposed to get this is extra long this is what I got in the big pack. See the length difference? Yeah, so I'm very disappointed with Amazon, but because I live in Jamaica, it really not going to make no sense that I send it back because I've, I would just have to pay more money on top of the $70 that I already paid for the wrong size curl formers. I would also have to spend more money to send it back to get a refund or to get a exchange or whatever it, it was that that was a very disappointing experience from amazon but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video those are all the products i bought to kick off my 2018 and uh, yeah i look forward to trying all these products and if you'd like to see any reviews and first impressions on any of these products be sure to leave it down in the comment section and yeah we can have a talk and if you have any reviews on any of these products just tell me down in the comment section and let me know what you think about these products and uh, yeah okay that's it okay beauties thank you guys for watching later Mwah. i will buy it 
again. So let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Since that intro was already way too long. All right, I have my bag right here. Full of products. I think most of them are just mediocre and blah. And just a very few of them. I mean, a very few of them.